Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, lucky with Big League. So, here we go. A blind PSA reveal. And, um, blind uh, specifically because, uh, I'll be quite honest, this would have snuck up on me there. I didn't, um, <laughs> I didn't anticipate it. I actually missed a notification that it shipped. And then it kind of arrived here yesterday, and I was like, okay, cool. <laughs> so, not that I didn't necessarily want to see the grays, but uh, I didn't really get a chance to p take a look at them. I had a uh, real busy week here. Everything's actually going really well. Preach everybody's, um, a business and I preach everybody's commitment or uh, not commitment really their loyalty to, to big league uh, many many multiple or or uh, buyers that buy multiple items or uh, people to come back to the store so um, you guys know what we're about right getting your cards there in fantastic and safe shape and getting them there to you as quickly as we possibly can same day shipping always when possible and i'm looking for my blade here you go just put it up there um so i think we have i think this is actually i think this is a ultra modern if they went in order uh last one was modern uh, so it was at 17 and uh, older. So this is basically 18 and newer. Um, 20 to 25 cards. Doesn't feel like there's much in here, so we may have either a card that didn't get graded. Um, what's we got? No, actually, we got two graded cards in a, in a, in a, in a ton of wrap. That's funny. Um, and then the paperwork here. So I think we're looking at close to the year, guys. I'll be quite honest. Let's see, uh, let's see what the date is on the Joker. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, December 20th um, so that's when they accepted it right that's not when I shipped it so uh, 11 months even from that standpoint so this may have been submitted well over a year ago I'll be quite honest uh, date received in, uh, number 17th package um, so say so yeah, somewhere around there but anyway uh, submission date 11 12 so 11 12 um, so right at a year almost <laughs> but anyway they're here um, so let's see what we got I guess we'll open this big uh, you gotta use extra bubble wrap right? Tatis that's cool um, uh, let's see here. Start with Mr. Tatis. Uh, so this is the uh, Chrome update. Um, so rookie debut. Um, like I said, as long as you you know get this and you know don't drop it on the concrete and smear it around, uh, you're gonna be in pretty good shape there. Uh, the uh, quality control on 19 update was super strong, as a lot of the Chrome products were. Um, so as long as like I said, your surface is good and nothing really weird happens to your corners, you're gonna be pretty pretty decent there. So that's the uh, update Tatis uh, PSA 10 on that one. Um, I remember seeing a bunch of Tatis here. So this is the uh, complete set um, variation, if you want to call it. Um, so um, I always look up to pick up a couple complete sets and just stash them, right? Because there's usually one of the two rookies out of there that um, has a pretty decent ear, and then the variation card is kind of help well sought after. And that's actually, it's a pretty pretty cool photo right there, too. So that's in a white jersey. That's the complete set variation, number 410 card for the complete set. That's cool. Nice start there. Um, I don't need to cut this one. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Um... So 22 cards, maybe? I can't remember if uh, even 20 fit in these uh, in these boxes or not. I think I finally got rid of those StockX ones, huh? The shock ones or whatever they were for a while, remember those? Some basketball, that's cool. And some more Tatis, it looks like, so we'll continue with that and then go into the basketball. I move this uh, stuff out of here. All right. Uh, see, we got the update, complete set, and here's the uh, flagship. Um, this one's always a tougher grade. It's, um, uh, I'm not sure if it's a centering or it can be the corners. Um, uh, looks like that left corner may just be a tad, I mean, I'm not say a tad. I mean, you see it right there? That's more of a chad than versus a, um, a, a chip or a push. Um, and actually I could, you could get that off. But anyway, that's a nine on the Tatis flagship. Um, so that's pretty cool. So here's all the three Tatis of your rookies here from Tops. Um, not bad. Two tens and a nine. All right. Uh, these slides are like stuck together, not stuck, but sticking. Let's see. Um, Randy Rosarina, that's your Bowman Chrome, um, that's your base rookie there. But, um, guy's kind of crazy, he does like incredible things in the playoffs. I think this guy's been a rookie like three years in a row. <laughs> so, um, I can't, did the cards this year, did it say rookie on it? I can't, uh, can't remember. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to see what uh, card his true rookie card is. I, I'm not much on a Rosarina in terms of a following, so I don't know if there's one card that's already been, been designated or if there's one card that people are looking at. But anyway, that's the number 11 card out of 2020 Chrome. Uh, let's see here, Kyle Lewis. So still, this is back. You know, it was a year ago when Kyle Lewis was super, super hot. Um, flagship 64 card. So we got a bunch of this last time in the uh, order that was returned, and that's okay. Uh, hopefully, he'll come back from the injury and do well um because i would sure like him to since we have so much of him in inventory now and there's another one <laughs> golly here's another one this is the um bowman archives i actually think this was a really cool card so going back to was it 51 bowman uh 55 excuse me uh, with the tv set there 
uh, wood grain. I think it's just a cool looking card. I mean, a lot of the throwback card, you're like, yeah, it's, it's, you know, you're going back to like a 1990 Donner's or Fleer, which is pretty basic looking, but the 55 cards are pretty flipping ironic, I think. See, it's just color TV right there. I think that's pretty cool too. So, uh, PSA 10 on that one. Uh, another Kyle Lewis. Uh, here's a refractor uh, out of Topps Chrome, so that's nice. Pretty good shine on the refractor this year. Or this year, when I say this year, meaning 2020. So you can see that there kind of coming through the PSA holder. So 186 card on that one. Um, like I said, all stuff is ultra modern, so you know it, it should grade high, right? It's not like it's you're grading, you know, 89 Donruss, which is a you know super tough set or almost impossible. So here's the pink Kyle Lewis. Man, I'm gonna send a Kyle Lewis. And here's another Randy Rose Arena. So this is the chrome one. Top, so he's in the Cardinals uniform here, obviously, versus the Tampa Bay uniform. 49 card. Some football. Remember when this guy's well, this guy was super crazy? Oh, and it's a 10. And you know, it, it is ultra modern, but <laughs> an ultra modern, yeah. Modern. Ultra modern, yeah. But PSA is so hard on thicker cards, guys. And so to get a 10 on this, um, even though it's kind of your basic one color patch, is actually pretty <laughs> pretty that's what I'm looking for. Uh, unusual. Um, it doesn't happen a lot, but like I said, it uh, we're very delicate here when we opened. I mean, we opened this on the channel at some point, uh, certified, um, and you know, put it right into a thick card sleeve and put it to the side. Um, there you go. I don't even know. Is he still? Is he on the team? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I know that the uh, they're not doing so well overall, uh, but uh, that defense has got to do something there. So there's the Clyde. Here's another Clyde uh, Mosaic Green Reactive. These kind of cool looking cards there. But like I said, on the nine, you wonder what what's going. Looks like that bottom right corner might have a little rounding to it. Um, and steering wise, it's kind of a tough one to judge, man. That's real tough there. So, um, that Joker uh, we got here, Burrow. Um, that's the Donner's Elite. These are nice cards. Elite Green too. That's real nice. I got a shot on that Joker. Looks cool. Got Jamar Chase, kind of the, the this year of the same card. Elite Green looks great. Uh, so that's a nice card there. Uh, here we go, JH, 9 on this uh, Penny Playoff. Not the coolest looking card. Um, he is in the um, oh, Chronicles draft pick, that's right. Uh, so he's in the college unit there. Um, Centering looks good. Looks like, uh, I don't know, maybe a little soft touch of white there in that bottom left corner. Um, but like, I mean, that, you know, like I said, they, the one thing that PSA I get the gripe is, there's, well, there's a couple of guys, but the half grade, right? I mean, you know, 9-5 on that. Uh, they don't ever use that grade hardly ever. You hardly even see an 8.5. I got a couple 8.5s from like four years ago, but man, I haven't seen a uh, you know half grade in, golly, I don't know how long. I have to go back and look. It's going to be funny. Uh, Herbert, here's a Chronicles draft pick. Extra points, red. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I can see that red there in the prestige. Um, and I don't know how rare these are. They're not numbered, um, but um, it is the red. It may just be a retail exclusive, and I'm not sure how often they hit, but... Um, just set it off a little bit different uh, that prestige red, so that's kind of cool. That one, uh, PSA 10 on that guy. Uh, here's another Herbert. Um, status blue. This card looks fantastic. Um, I don't know, man. The, the elite cards are really awesome cards. Like I said, it's a paper card, but you got the full stock. And um, if you can keep that Joker clean, get a nice green. Look at that shine on that blue, even though it's a paper card. That's a really nice looking card, man. I like that one. I like that a lot. Cool. Um, Kyler Murray. Um, this was the red um, prism draft picks. I mean, it was uh, it's not a rookie card, but uh, I thought it was cool because in the OU and it was a red. So um, I thought I sent it off, and he's actually having a really fine year here too. So that's kind of cool. Uh, LeBron James. Oh, man. Uh, base, 18 Donruss. Um, like I said, LeBron is just uh, one, of those, one of those players, right? He's like in your Brady... Your Jordan, where you get a card and it's good. Um, um, back then, right, and when this was what I think a twelve dollar grade or ten dollars or something like that, I can't remember what. Maybe it was twenty for. I think it may have been twenty for Ultra Modern at this point. Uh, but still, it's not like it is now, where it's like one hundred fifty is your lowest uh, price point for a PSA. Um, so back then, it made sense. Probably not now. I don't know what this is in a ten. I have to look it up. It may be. I don't know, maybe hundred dollars. I'm not sure. Maybe not that much. I'm not sure. I have to double check. Maybe I'll put some numbers in here if I have the time. But uh, been a very, very busy week here, so we'll see. So, 18 Donruss, um, PSA 10 on that one. Here's the um, uh, G card. Um, I thought this one. He had a little. He has a little dent right there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, maybe I can't. I remember this card was not perfect. 
I was like, eh, we'll see if PSA just maybe gets inconsistent. But they obviously picked it up because I remember the card not being perfect. I don't have my sheet with me, guys, but I remember this one. I didn't have it as a 10. That's the MVP boat. I throw it down and neck kind of its place there. Take a look at the back. Not too much. Uh, let's see, here's the Zion. Green mosaic. That's nice. I don't even remember pulling this card. I wonder how I waited so long to send that one. Hmm. Anyway, uh, green, green isn't numbered, but it looks pretty, pretty nice in that, uh, in the slab there. Zion, see what happens with him. Everybody's injured, man, golly. And there's a nine in the NBA rookie debut. I think the base cards are really tough. The, the rookie de debuts, the, the regular mosaic cards, the MVPs, because uh, the, the surface, they can get really, really, man, they're, they're just tough. I just remember going through tons of cards and like, man, just throwing a bunch out because they just weren't, they weren't there, right? They didn't have a, if they don't have a chance at a strong nine, which I, you know, I'm not even going to submit it. Um, so as you can see in this, in this, you know, order, like all nines are higher. Uh, let's see what we got here. Nine, nine, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. One more nine, one more nine. This one is actually pretty, that's, that's pretty cool. It's impressive. Um, and all the rest for 10, I think. Kyle Lewis. He's come back strong. No, we had that T-9, the flagship. That's right. This guy here. So there's your ratio. Um, but um, like I said, it's not like it's anything super, super impressive. You just keep your cards clean, guys. Um, sleeve them up, right? Keep them nice and dry. Uh, don't stack them on top of each other, right? Don't uh, keep them loose, just around. Get them in your storage boxes. Uh, speaking of that, I got to order a case of uh, shoe boxes here. That uh, overrun. Um, that card's nice, man. It's got a nice shine to it, too. Um, so there it is, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, we'll get these uploaded into the store. Um, if you see something you like, send me an email, info at uh, bigleaguesc.com. Um, if you want to buy something directly, um, I can put it on the website so you can avoid some of the eBay fees. Uh, and I can avoid some of the eBay fees and get it to you cheaper versus listing it in eBay and paying all that stuff or worrying about auctions. So let me know um, if you see anything you like. Um, that's it, guys. Respect the hobby and have a good night. Thanks.